you have a chance to write your own story. What have you got to lose? I don't know, my dignity? A leopard never changes its spots, but what about the big bad wolf? The bad guys takes this simple premise and runs with it as Wolf, voiced by Sam Rockwell, is determined to go straight after a lifetime of legendary heists. What follows is essentially a heist film for kids, borrowing liberally from the genre to great effect. There's a coffee shop opener that mirrors Swordfish and Reservoir Dogs, and a heist montage that instantly brings to mind Ocean's Eleven. Throw in a couple references to George Clooney, and it's clear where director Pierre Parafel gets his inspiration. Wolf isn't alone, of course, with a motley crew of criminal creatures including Snake, Tarantula, Shark, and Piranha. While Wolf has his sights set on a life of heroism, it looks as though his fellow crooks will need some convincing. It's a clever concept. The Bad Guys is a morality tale that explores whether or not villains can change, something we've seen time and time again throughout cinema. But this time, the cartoon stylings and fart gags form those lofty questions for a younger audience. On the outside, the five of you are villains, predators. Yeah! Remorseless sociopaths. Eaton Cohen and Hilary Winston's script is light and refreshing, with enough substance for parents to sink their teeth into, while the younger ones can enjoy the mostly witty humor with a great big dollop of slick, heist-based action. Each member of the team has a part to play, with Wolf's crew members leaning on their animalistic skills to great effect. But some of their skills are hilariously dubious. The Bad Guys plays up its ridiculous concept, as well as its heist movie roots. You'll find plenty of over-the-top action that often capably riffs on classic heist beats. Sure, some of the moves may seem familiar, but the Bad Guys rarely plays its straight improvising on well-known trappings of the genre. This take keeps things fresh and never delivers what you might expect. As far as the voice cast goes, Rockwell is the standout here as Cunning Wolf who has all the right quips for any occasion. The chemistry between him and Snake, voiced by Mark Marin, is perfect as the reptile rasps his way through every scene, Wolf lifting him up with edgy banter that pierces his crime-obsessed veneer. The bad guys become the good guys so we can stay the bad guys. Equally, Zossie Beats makes an excellent Governor Foxington, bringing a modern flair to local politics. Richard Ayoade's soft voice, Professor Marmalade, is the perfect foil, a kind-hearted philanthropist who takes pity on the crew. The animation style, meanwhile, is wonderfully fresh, taking inspiration from the likes of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Its frantic, edgy tone works well, with a certain Roadrunner and Wily e. Coyote dynamic that brings a cartoon-like precision to the caper. Although the fart jokes may edge towards wearing a bit thin, the humor is plentiful, and with a heartwarming tale of redemption beneath its slick veneer, the bad guys pull off a great job. The Bad Guys is a slick, hilarious heist movie with buckets of laughs and a lot of heart. It's Ocean's Eleven meets Little Red Riding Hood with Sam Rockwell's wolf going on a charm offensive to stay out of jail, and he might just win you over in the process. The entire voice cast brings their A-game with some stellar gags. The Bad Guys is a fun, family-friendly caper that's bursting with action and brimming with laughs. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Not us. For more reviews of recent movies featuring cute cartoon animals, check out what we thought of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Turning Red, and for everything else, stick with IGN. A good person would smack it, skin it, stab it, saute it. It's so obvious. I want you to save it. Oh, right, right. right. Here it is.